I mean, it's 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 a it's a well-made game. It, it has a lot of detail, and some things could be better, obviously. But still, I'm it's it's like the only game I've ever played that comes even close to Diablo. So yeah. So okay. Spartans lost. Well, you're not going to get anywhere by just standing around in a swamp fire going, Where are we? Let's just wait here for someone to come and rescue us. We'll have to walk all the way back to that temple with the um, with the life eater if we want our 4,000 experience points. To go, yes, you guys are in that uh, in the swamp. They stood around waiting for you to go and save them. Yeah, but they, they still stand there. So what did we do exactly? Nothing. Nothing, no. Well, but if you play this game on the most difficult setting, then this is the most difficult quest in the entire game. Because then, there's a Hydra in the swamp. Oh, I and think I saw a YouTube video about that, actually. Yeah, and that's the most... I've mo been looking up videos about scaling yeah, the Hydra. Yeah, it's Fit, very, it? very strong. So, uh, but we won't have to fight it because we're not playing on that difficulty setting. It's kind of disappointing. I was kind of looking forward to, uh, yeah, right now, but never mind, never mind. Because it did look like a good fight that we could have, but I'm sure there are other ones that we can fail at instead. Oh, yes, there will. <laughs> there will we be. We did well against, against Medusa. We've killed Medusa. That's the first major mythological creature we've uh, we've killed. Yeah. Well, what bosses did we face until now? There was the Centaur um, boss. I think uh, uh, they, because some of the names look familiar, so I think some of them are based on like creatures of Greek mythology. Yeah. Uh, but I think Medusa is like the most famous one that we've that we've fought so far. But I can't I can't tell you what. Well, I mean, there was a big odor, wasn't there? Yeah, the Cyclops, yeah. Um, yeah, Cyclops. Yeah, and and the Spider Queen. Yes. I'm not, I'm not sure if... I don't know. And I don't, oh, anyway, yeah. enemies, enemies, enemies. More, oh. Not more, I think. Those are the enemies, I th guess. But the, the bosses we faced. I don't know, I can't remember. The game is all just sort of, you know, blurring into one slugfest of... Firing arrows at enemies. <laughs> yeah, thankfully, um, we are quite close to a new type of um, interior or exterior, what, whatever you. I think it's. Yeah, we're. Oh no, it's a monstrous boar. Monstrous boar is going down. I'm having him. Now we'll have to go into some sort of um, temple, and then I think the rest of the act will all be inside. Oh, because this is where we're going to find the source of the thingamabob. Yeah. The invasion! Oh, where's Bob? I don't know. He's your pet. Oh, Bob is dead. Was Bob. dead. Well, again. Since he already is dead. Yeah. Let's just clear out this uh, these fields first. Before we'll yes. proceed. Why not? There's the the battle standard. Oh, so that increases our damage if we're if we're near it. Yeah. Don't we really need it against these guys, though? Do we? We're one hitting them all. Yeah. Not really, but still. Oh, essence of the valor of Achilles. We already completed that one, didn't we? Uh, I'm getting it anyway. Yeah. We might need another one, mightn't we? You never know. I thought I'd get it anyway. And there's disease plumage. I'm not sure if we got that one. I think we did. We did. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, we have. <laughs> oh, well. More is always better. There's no harm. You know, I can always just... Uh, I can always get rid of them. Yeah. Hello, I'm back. And they're all dead. Yes. Minuscule, tiny little bits of uh, 
XP for these guys now. Just that tiny little yellow bit that's going up. But there are a lot of them, so eventually we'll... It all mounts up. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's. Close. I think that's good of this game. If they they start like throwing weak monsters at you with like hundreds at a, at a time, and then eventually they'll throw some more difficult monsters at you with more experience. But there will only be like ten of them, or five, yes. you know. So that's yeah. It is actually a good thing that they fill these weak, weak monsters at you because you get the feeling that you're uh, actually stronger. Yeah. Not everything is scaled to your level, so I mean, you, you can like cleave through these. Yeah, easy, in, but at first we had difficulty you. with them, so that's great that you like see your character improving. Yes, it's not well, like you you're just scaling yourself to fight the monsters, and it's the the, the difficulty is constant because this bit's quite easily. It's quite it's quite satisfying just mowing them down. Yeah, yeah, and then and then after a while they'll throw a boss at you or something. Yeah. It's just luring you into a false sense of security, isn't it? Yeah. And then you'll just be like, ah, but what about <laughs> this? And then you'll be like, oh, I'll just oh, click on it. No, we you can't know. enter that field. Yeah, but uh, so yeah. That's all quite good. And um, I mean, it's not like my favorite game ever, but every time I play it, it is really satisfying. What is your favorite game ever? Uh, yeah, it's still Baldur's Gate 2, of course. Good lad, good lad, me <laughs> too. And it's, it'll, it'll never change, I think, because it has been eight years and nothing has even come close. So, but I, I do think that Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is very, very close. Well, that's the only game that's, that's like, it's my second game and, and it's very good as well. Have you played that one? No, I never really played any Star Wars game. You're not into Star Wars, or or. I like the I like the old films, but that's about it. Yeah, well, you I never really. I'm not against. I'm not really, you know opposed to playing, but I've I've you know just oh. not been that interested enough to do it. I Is I un yeah no I understand that, be but at Ooh, first I mean, <laughs> I mean I I didn't really like Star Wars. I I still I'm not a big fan of it, but um. The, the 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 good things about that game are are not the Star Wars thing. It's just the role playing bits because there are some awesome characters in that game, and it's it's like the only game with companions that feel as compelling as those in Baldur's Gate Two. Yeah, so right. yeah, I, you you as a role playing game fan and as a Baldur's Gate fan, I I I mean you really have to check that one out, and it's. It's quite old, but but it's so, such oh, a good old game. Old doesn't matter. I'm not. I don't really care how old games are, or, or especially what they look like, because it's the uh, the feel of the game and the gameplay that matter most to me, really. Yeah. If yeah. the game looks nice, it's you know it's good. It's bonus, but. Well, I think that's true, but I. It's not oh high my, my goodness me! You have to be kidding me! Sorry, that was my fault. No, that was my fault because I didn't press the button to quaff a potion. Yeah, I was. Good uh, grief! I was, I was talking at you. Well, I was talking as we were, well. We were so. discussing about things yeah. and not really paying attention to the game. So. <laughs> no, but it's okay. But no, but what I mean is that um, with those games, um, I think that if you've played them when you like, when they were released, and you'll play them now, then it's 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 very. It's harder to get into them. Well, yeah, yeah but if you've never played them when they were released, then it's like impossible. If you've if you've yes. never played an Infinity game with the, the Infinity engine, and you're going to play them now for the first time, I think it will be incredibly difficult to to adapt to them. So, yeah, I think you have to, yeah, be yeah, familiar with them. I see what you're saying. I do. Yeah. But luckily, uh, we have the uh, the privilege of being familiar with them, so we get to play them and love them. Yeah. Indeed, it's it, they are so awesome. I, uh... I've actually played Baldur's Gate um, maybe one and a half times since I finished my LP of it. <laughs> oh really? Which was, yeah, which was a couple of months ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, I'm I'm not that into it. I mean. Yeah, I, I play it constantly. Well, not constantly, but you know, I, I like it's always installed on my computer. What I don't like about myself again is that I always end up with the same companions. Yeah, I know. Oh, that um... you, you, when. Because I've, I've watched all of your episodes, and like, I'm gonna play with the same people again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I can't help myself. I mean, I just, I, I, yeah, 
they're always the same and, and especially Keldorn I'll never leave him behind of course well, Keldorn's very very useful yeah like, extremely useful for a uh, freezes anti magic and it's and amazing and I just my favorite NPC is of course Ari which a lot of people hate Ari but I think yeah she has a I very quite interesting... like it. I mean she she is supposed to be sweet but a lot of people find her very uh, very annoying very whiny yeah I don't think she is but still I mean opinions differ of course but I think I mean she has a reason to be whiny because if your wings are like chopped off when you're young then I guess you can be a bit um, 